New at 10 o'clock tonight, an update to a story that you first saw only here on 12 News. Earlier this month, we first told you about a Flagstaff woman who drove all the way here to Phoenix, paying thousands of dollars to buy an SUV, only to find out it had a $7,000 lien on it. Yeah, and tonight we do have a positive update to that story you'll only see right here on 12 News. As the I-Team's Bianca Bono reports, state investigators took notice and that car no longer sitting idle. Guys, our original report came out on a Friday, and by the following Monday, Ashley Lewis was getting a call from ADOT's Office of the Inspector General to help make things right. Ashley Lewis getting behind the wheel of her new Suburban, a car she bought over a year ago, but hasn't been able to legally drive it until now. It's been a mess. In March of last year, Lewis bought the car for $8,000 cash from Coyote Auto Credit near 27th Avenue in Osborne, only to later learn it had a $7,000 lien on it. She was told it would be illegal to drive, so it sat in her front yard for months as they pleaded with the owner of the dealership to pay off the lien or give them their money back. The owner denied responsibility, saying the man who sold them the car at his dealership did not work for him. We thought, should we sell it for parts? We all sat here scratching our heads like, what are we going to do with this? After filing a police report and notifying the attorney general's office, not knowing what else to do, they reached out to 12 News. And after the report aired earlier this month, their phone rang. We received a call right away, first thing, from the inspector general's office saying, we are so sorry that this happened. We are so sorry that we weren't informed in a timely manner. ADOT officials also getting in contact with Coyote Auto Credit's owner, who last week paid off the lien. The owner tells 12 News he's now waiting for the title to deliver to investigators. This is really life-changing for us for her to have her own vehicle again. The car sat for so long it needed a new battery, a minor hiccup in comparison to the past year of headaches. It was like a brand new car experience. Lewis obtained a temporary registration and met with the inspector general who is investigating whether this has happened to any other buyers at the small Phoenix dealership. A year's worth of hoops. Now Lewis and her family's car troubles are in the rear view mirror. Look up everything you can about a car before you buy it. Hoping this never happens to anyone else. Buyer beware. Just don't trust every single person that seems nice. And the MVD has a list of tools online to help you protect yourself when buying a car, including a way to check a car's title status, which will show you if there are any liens. We've linked that for you on our website, 12news.com. We're in Flagstaff, Bianca Bono, 12 News.